Welcome to Brazil, and welcome to Blanquito Pratt, who is going to be the next person that I'm going to spectate, and hopefully he will actually make a Pratt of himself. He is Spanish, so there's every chance he will. There's a couple of other Spaniards in here as well, which means if you are ever hoping for a race that will have carnage in it, it'll come from those three Spaniards. So it's going to be a shame to waste this Ferrari parking it up as soon as the race starts, but we have to watch Blanquito Pratt because you just get that feeling that it's going to be worth watching, to be quite honest. Uh, get on with it. There's Spaniard 1 alongside me on the grid. Just ahead of me there, Spaniard 2, Blanquito Pratt. So the question is, as always, how quick I can retire and get to the spectate option. And away we go. We've managed to retire, let's spectate. Pacalino. Tag. Oh, de he's been passed by Br Blanquito. But oh, Stallion's been spun. We need to catch up the Pratt. I think this is him. Here we go. Right then. Blanquito Pratt's already used all of his curves. I think he's got someone behind. He's on the grass. He's wobbling into the... He's been hit from behind and he's gone way off the track. That Toro Rosso gave him a good smash. And Blanquito... Oh, and there's a catering trying to get it. Oh, and another Toro Rosso. They're all in here. This is a huge battle. Blanquito Pratt's getting forced out of the Ferrari. He's better. He's been hit. And he's back into seventh. Blanquito Pratt comes off worst because he is Spanish and he was just always going to get involved in the big incident. Now how can he do from back here? My guess is not for a lot of debris over the track. He's wobbling, he doesn't know how to control the car. Oh, he's taken the complete wrong line into that corner. Oh, one of his Spanish mates has been disqualified already. It's only lap one. Let's see how long it takes Blanquito Pratt to get disqualified. Or indeed whether he can catch up the back of the pack looking at the minimap. He hasn't got a cat in hell's chance of catching them up, but you never know if they spin off or start killing each other. Come on, Blanquito. Watch out for that pit wall. A 1 minute 31 as he's opening lap. Ooh. Oh, very slidey. You can tell he's not really in control. Doesn't have a clue what he's doing. Why he's destined, it, it seems, to finish last. Still, I won't rule anything out. And, uh, and in fact, while he's been so crap, I'm going to cycle back up to the front where it looks like everybody's quite congested. I'm in a nice little battle. Galino and Stallion, who got spun, of course, at the first corner, so he's, he's done well to get back into the lead of the race. I haven't forgotten about Blanquito Pratt. He's just driving like so much of a Pratt that I don't expect much action from him in the remainder of the race. So we'll see if his fellow Spaniard, Pacalino, can do anything about Stallion. We're going 12-5. To be honest, Stallion looks too good for these people following behind him. And I'm in fact going to go back to Pacalino and look from behind him at his pursuers. because this looks like quite a tasty battle for second place. As you can see from the map, Pratt is <laughs> dropping even further back. A bit wide there for the uh, Toro Rosso. But it's still all up for grabs here, you, you have to say. Oh, has Pacolino got it in hand? Well, he's got it in hand and he's going to take second place, you would feel. Even if the guy in third is getting a slip for him on him, it's not going to be enough. So we'll cycle back down to our best friend, 
Juan Quito Pratt, who has finished a woeful sixth after getting binned off on the first lap. And I would have said pit there just for the laugh, but he's done a 1.15.0, so he wasn't actually the slowest person in that race, just G-Doc was the slowest. Thank you for watching.